Hey guys, sorry about the weird lighting in here, but I'm just filming this in a corner of where I'm staying at over my parents' house. But what's really important is I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the Da Vinci exhibit over at the California Science Center and why I actually was really impressed with it and why I was kind of hesitant to go and see it in the first place. So let's dive into it. So the main reason why I was hesitant to go and see it is the California Science Center itself is free to get into. I absolutely love it. It's amazing if you're ever in the area, go and check it out. But special exhibits cost extra and that's totally understandable. I remember a while back, Danielle and I went to go see the dog special exhibit, which was really well done. And the only issue that I had with trying to go and see the Da Vinci exhibit was when it came to buying the tickets online, the online web portal was just being an absolute nightmare. I don't know if it was having a bad day, it just needs to be revamped, but it got really frustrating trying to find a time slot for a day and finding out that everything was booked up. So if you're gonna buy tickets, note the online web portal is not as good as it could be, at least when I was using it, hopefully it's been fixed. And note that things do sell out quite quickly, especially around the weekends. So with that in mind, you have been forewarned. That's the only reason why I was apprehensive. Now when it comes to actually going and visiting it, I'll give you the condensed version of getting down there. Now, while there is parking over at the California Science Center, I believe it's about $15 a vehicle and parking over there does fill up pretty quickly, especially considering it's right next to a couple of other very popular attractions and as such, parking can be kind of hard to come by. So the choice is yours if you decide to drive. There are a lot of really good transit options. In my case, I just drove to the local Metrolink station, jumped a train down to LA Union Station, and worked my way over to the E-Line. And I just took that a couple of stops over to the Expo Park USC station, which dumps you off on the backside of the California Science Center. Do know because of the construction going on for the new space shuttle exhibit, it does make getting to the front side of the building, if you're trying to get in first thing in the morning, a bit more tricky, but it wasn't the end of the world. Once I got down there, the nice thing was they actually opened the doors a couple minutes early for those of us who are just individual people. And after seeing the busloads of screaming school children outside, you best believe I hightailed it up to the third floor where the exhibit was at as quick as I could. Now, they wouldn't let me enter until 10 o'clock hit, which was perfectly understandable, but it was amazing to enjoy the peace and quiet for, you know, while it lasted. So it was great. I will not be showing very much of what was inside. I don't want to potentially, you know, the California Science Center by showing too much, but I will show a few highlights of things that I'm talking about so you can kind of get a flavor for what was in there. So when you walked in there, it was definitely dark and I know some friends who have trouble with seeing things in low light, so bear that in mind, but they did have good lighting on the various items that were on display. It appeared like they were on loan from the Da Vinci Museum in Italy, as you'd have text in English on one side and you'd have text in Italian on the other side. And I'm not knocking the wording on things, but there were definitely some things that I felt may have been mistranslated. So I'm only making mention of that. So if you have to reread a sentence twice, it could be because of that. That being said though, it was really interesting to see scans of Da Vinci's notebooks alongside artists' interpretations and engineers' renderings, if you will, of what the intended design was and what historians speculate was the intended goal for this. And they made it very clear where they were speculating about things based on other works that people had done and surmising things that sadly have just been lost to time for whatever reason. I will say that the quality of the models in there, both scale and theoretical life size, were just absolutely incredible. 
I was blown away by them. The, the meticulous nature of designing everything was amazing. There were quite a lot of interactive touch screens that you could learn more about the history of the item, look at the original scans of Da Vinci's notebooks, see a breakdown of it and kind of reassemble whatever was there, see hypothetical anima animations of how it was in use, various things like that. It was incredibly well done. So if you're somebody who's really into the nitty gritty of things or wants to learn more about that, totally worth checking it out. Now, one other thing that I thought was really amazing is they showed a, a high quality digital scan that has been done for archival reasons of the Last Supper painting. And then also on another wall, they had a digitally, hopefully this is as good as we can get it. We could keep at this literally for centuries, but never make it exactly like the original theoretical interpretation with, of what the work would have looked like when it first came out. And it was absolutely mind blowing to see that, especially considering that with digital camera technology and various forms of photography, they were able to uncover details that otherwise would not have been available using Da Vinci's old sketches to try and interpret lighting and shape of things that have been just lost due to degradation. It was amazing. Also, they showed, you know, theoretically how a large piece of art like work like this would have been done. Absolutely mind blowing. One other thing that was really cool were there were a couple of little hands on exhibits. One of them was building your own little miniature model of a self-supporting bridge that da Vinci had come up with, which honestly was a little bit tricky to assemble. But when you looked at it, the cleverness of the weight of all the components holding everything together with no fasteners was honestly incredible. They also had a really cool little interactive paddle boat that you could pretend to move around in the canals out there using a VR-esque video game style setup. So you'd have one person operating the foot treadles and then one of the volunteers that was there was nice enough to operate the rudder for me so I could simulate moving around on the canals out there. That was really cool. Also, there were various models of theoretical different fighting ship concepts that Da Vinci had come up with. It was just, it was crazy. Some of the stuff was more humorous, some of the stuff was more practical, some of the stuff was more artistic, but it was a really, really, really well done exhibition. And the nice thing is when you're done with the exhibition, you still have a good portion of the California Science Center to go and explore, which has a ton of cool stuff. They've definitely changed some of the exhibits and because of the work that they're doing on the space shuttle um, setup, some of the stuff that is available on the second floor normally was not available, which was a little bit of a bummer, but I still enjoyed myself going and visiting the kelp forest and all that kind of stuff. So would I recommend going to the exhibit? Definitely if you're into the, you're definitely into history, you're into science, you appreciate good model making, or say you're a student and you're doing a project on Da Vinci. I mean, I can't think of a better resource to go and find information about him, his life, his history, the things that he come, came up with, that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you wanna see you know, more stuff about this, I'll have some links to various things that the California Science Center has posted up on their social media about it. And if you've gone, I'd love to hear your comments down below on if you thought it was amazing, you thought it was crap, everything in between. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.